Why am I covering my phone's camera with black electrical tape? It's not for privacy. It's to help detect anomalous events. When you put an opaque material over your phone's camera, regular light can't get in, but radiation can. So if one or more pixels light up, you've detected a radioactive particle passing right through that opaque cover and hitting your camera sensor. There are apps that will detect and record these radiation events. Watch out for the gimmicky fake apps. The, the credible ones are created by reputable scientists and have peer-reviewed papers backing their capabilities. The, the links are below in the description. Instead of the audible clicks that indicate ionizing radiation that a Geiger counter emits, these apps will show you the image of the radiation particle striking your camera sensor. Usually it's just a small dot, but sometimes you'll get cool streaks where the radiation particle traveled through the sensor at an extreme angle, hitting a line of particles. It's an incredible capability that all of our phones have, but practically no one knows about. You can literally detect nearby radioactive objects with your phone. But using this app unlocks something even cooler than that. If you choose to share your data, you will be contributing to a massive data set of location-based trends in background radiation. See, even if you're nowhere near radioactive material, you'll still see radiation particles hitting your camera sensor every couple of minutes. These are drops from cosmic ray showers, particles from deep space going nearly light speed, colliding with Earth's atmosphere and sending down a cascade of high energy particle interactions. A single cosmic ray will usually produce a shower that covers about a square kilometer when it falls to the surface of Earth. And it's showering all the time. But sometimes it storms. A radioactive particle traveling unfathomably fast caused the first observed cosmic storm on October 15, 1991, over the Utah sky. The particle had so much energy, scientists still don't have a good explanation for it. They called the particle the Oh My God particle. And since then, there have been a handful of similarly energetic cosmic particles detected slamming into our atmosphere but our knowledge of these incoming cosmic rays remains very much incomplete. There may be even bigger superstorms happening, storms beyond our current ability to detect. And that's where you come in. To get the full picture regarding cosmic ray interaction with Earth, we need cosmic ray sensors everywhere, so we can begin to see if there are things like megastorms caused by encounters with particles orders of magnitude greater than even the Oh My God particle. And apps like the Cosmic Ray Detector aim to do just that. If there are enough people using the app, large-scale cosmic storms that were previously undetectable will be detected. This effort is the Cosmic Ray Extremely Distributed Observatory. Not only are they collecting data points from smartphones running radiation-detecting apps, but they are also collecting data from major cosmic ray observatories, as well as other radiation detecting devices, such as the Cosmic Watch. And while they're still quite a ways away from their goal of over a million devices across the globe running cosmic ray detection applications, they have amassed quite the data set of radiation events. Their main interest is finding times where all the nodes in the network report radiation events at the same time, indicative of a worldwide cosmic storm that might be the result of dark matter or other exotic materials decaying. And while finding these would be amazing, there could be other information lurking in the dataset. UFO investigators can look for corroborating radiation spikes associated with sightings. Perhaps trails of radiation events may end up exposing the path of unseen radioactive craft. Maybe as the full picture of these intergalactic particles raining down on Earth is filled in, a pattern will emerge. Maybe something is sending them with intention. So take a look and download the Cosmic Ray Detector and start adding data points or looking for trends. If you have an old phone laying around, consider turning it into a dedicated radiation detector in your room. 
Normal levels will range from one particle detected every five minutes to two a minute, depending on local radiation sources. At the very least, you'll be able to see if there's any strange patterns of radioactivity in your own home. And at best, you might add corroborative data to a UFO sighting, or help advance particle physics by capturing part of an unprecedented cosmic storm. And the more data, the clearer the picture will be. So tell a friend and share this video. Help make the unseen seen. I'll be looking at the data myself and I'll report back here with results and other un and underknown science topics. So consider subscribing if this interests you. I'm Rather Be Squidding. Thanks for watching.